What is hacking? Computer hacking is the act of identifying and exploiting system and network vulnerabilities in order to obtain unauthorized access to those systems. Not all hacking is malicious. White hat hackers may work in cybersecurity or as software engineers and testers seeking out vulnerabilities in order to fix them. Black hat hackers operate with malicious intent. That said, there is a large gray area populated by political activists and hackers who wear both hats. Hacking costs companies and consumers trillions of dollars every year. According to CPO Magazine, by 2021, hacking attacks will cost a total $6 trillion, up from $2 trillion in losses reported in 2019. Much of the cyber crime problem stems from the same features of the Internet from which we all benefit. Even the most amateur hacker can easily find all the tools they need online at virtually no cost. The hacker onslaught didn't occur overnight. It took decades of work by now-famous hackers to discover critical vulnerabilities and reveal the strategies that established the foundations of the Internet and its free-for-all libertarianism. Here's a look at the top 10 most notorious hackers of all time. Kevin Mitnick A seminal figure in American hacking Kevin Mitnick got his career start as a teen. In 1981, he was charged with stealing computer manuals from Pacific Bell. In 1982, he hacked the North American Defense Command, NORAD, an achievement that inspired the 1983 film War Games. In 1989, he hacked Digital Equipment Corporation's DEC network and made copies of their software. Because DEC was a leading computer manufacturer at the time, this act put Mitnick on the map. He was later arrested, convicted, and sent to prison. During his conditional release, he hacked Pacific Bell's voicemail systems. Throughout his hacking career, Mitnick never exploited the access and data he obtained. It's widely believed that he once obtained full control of Pacific Bell's network simply to prove it could be done. A warrant was issued for his arrest for the Pacific Bell incident, but Mitnick fled and lived in hiding for more than two years. When caught, he served time in prison for multiple counts of wire fraud and computer fraud. Although Mitnick ultimately went white hat, he may be part of the both hats gray area. According to Wired, in 2014, he launched Mitnick's Absolute Zero Day Exploit Exchange, which sells unpatched, critical software exploits to the highest bidder. Anonymous Anonymous got its start in 2003 on 4chan message boards in an unnamed forum. The group exhibits little organization and is loosely focused on the concept of social justice. For example, in 2008 the group took issue with the Church of Scientology and began disabling their websites, thus negatively impacting their search rankings in Google and overwhelming its fax machines with all black images. In March 2008, a group of anons marched past Scientology centers around the world wearing the now-famous Guy Fox mask. As noted by The New Yorker, while the FBI and other law enforcement agencies have tracked down some of the group's more prolific members, the lack of any real hierarchy makes it almost impossible to identify or eliminate Anonymous as a whole. Adrienne Lamo in 2001, 20-year-old Adrian Lamo used an unprotected content management tool at Yahoo to modify a Reuters article and add a fake quote attributed to former Attorney General John Ashcroft. Lamo often hacked systems and then notified both the press and his victims. In some cases, he'd helped clean up the mess to improve their security. As Wired points out, however, Lamo took things too far in 2002 when he hacked the New York Times Internet added himself to the list of expert sources and began conducting research on high-profile public figures. Lamo earned the moniker The Homeless Hacker because he preferred to wander the streets with little more than a backpack and often had no fixed address. Albert Gonzalez According to the New York Daily News, Gonzalez, dubbed Subnazi, got his start as the troubled pack leader of computer nerds at his Miami high school. He eventually became active on criminal commerce site ShadowCrew.com and was considered one of its best hackers and moderators. At 22, Gonzalez was arrested in New York for debit card fraud related to stealing data from millions of card accounts. To avoid jail time, he became an informant for the Secret Service, ultimately helping indict dozens of ShadowCrew members. 
During his time as a paid informant, Gonzalez continued his incriminal activities. Along with a group of accomplices, Gonzalez stole more than 180 million payment card accounts from companies including OfficeMax, Dave and & Buster's and Boston Market. The New York Times Magazine notes that Gonzalez's 2005 attack on U.S. retailer TJX was the first serial data breach of credit information. Using a basic SQL injection, this famous hacker and his team created backdoors in several corporate networks, stealing an estimated $256 million from TJX alone. During his sentencing in 2015, the federal prosecutor called Gonzalez's human victimization unparalleled. Matthew Bevan and Richard Price Matthew Bevan and Richard Price are a team of British hackers who hacked into multiple military networks in 1996, including Griffiths Air Force Base, the Defense Information System Agency and the Korean Atomic Research Institute, Kerry. Bevan, Koji, and Price, Datastream Cowboy, have been accused of nearly starting a third world war after they dumped Kerry research onto American military systems. Bevan claims he was looking to prove a UFO conspiracy theory and according to the BBC, his case bears resemblance to that of Gary McKinnon. Malicious intent or not, Bevan and Price demonstrated that even military networks are vulnerable. Jeanson James Anchetta Jeanson James Anchetta had no interest in hacking systems for credit card data or crashing networks to deliver social justice. Instead, Anchetta was curious about the use of bots, software-based